<laughs> hey, what's happening, Real Filmers? I'm here at San Diego Comic-Con 2014, and I have here with me this, one of the stars of Necroelectric, Mr. Eric Carpenter. How's it going, friend? It's going awesome. It's going All great. All right. Well, it's you know, it's good to uh, reunite with this friend of mine. We go back. We go way back, as a matter yeah. of fact, back yeah, to the college days. Um, so I, I first have to ask you, you know, what has the experience been like thus far here at Comic-Con? Because this is your first Comic-Con. This is my Come first on, just... one. Actually, I live in L.A., first time actually even being in San Diego. But, uh, yeah, it's preview night, about 50, 75,000 people, and that's just getting started. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to see what this place looks like with 175,000 people in. Okay. And it's going to get crazy. I'd love to see the costumes, so I'm really excited for that. Just seeing how much work gets put into that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, well, for those who aren't, uh, may not be familiar with Necroelectric, can you kind of give like a brief idea of what folks can expect from from this series? Oh, definitely. It's a uh, romantic paranormal web series that's going to be premiering at the end of summer. Okay. And it's kind of like uh, like Vampire Diaries, like Lost Girl, okay. Supernatural, kind of shows like that. And it focuses on this woman who constantly needs to die in order to come back to life. All right. So she meets my character, his name's Alaric, and he's a an immortal cursed assassin. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's a mouthful. Okay. That's All a, right. Yeah. So it's uh, each one is like immortal. Okay, cursed. Oh, okay, I am the assassin. Okay. So she meets me, uh, ends up breaking one of my curses after asking me to kill her. Okay. And my brother has to kind of help unwillingly and his power is electricity so he can help people he can um, transport so it's wow. really okay. understanding um, who she is and then also after I fall in love with her and she co ultimately comes back but my brother thinks he knows her from a past life mm. Which sets up a nice little love triangle for us all. Of course, <laughs> of course. All right. Uh, so, I understand this this uh, series will be you know on the web, um, and, and I know you were just saying just now that it's kind of along the lines of Vampire Diaries. You know, we see a lot of that on uh, television these days, and it's something that's you know trending these days. Sure. sure. Um, have there been any talks? I think I discussed this with you before, and I don't remember um, you know if, if it if it was in talks or not, but. Are there any uh, uh, decisions on whether they want to possibly bring this series uh, to television or have it make that transition? Or definitely, is it... definitely. Yeah, okay. we've had had a few meetings, have a few more set up uh, during Comic Con and after. Okay. For uh, possible distribution, um, possibly a uh, featured webisode on a site, uh, maybe some something with networks. So we're really just kind of exploring options. But either way, if if nothing happens from that fans are going to be able to see it actually right behind us. Okay. Uh, you can see a preview of the first episode. So that's uh, what you guys are getting is the first ever okay. uh, All right. sighting of the first episode. So yeah, any way it's either going to be on our website at necroelectric.com or on our YouTube page. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go on a, a little random tangent. I know we were talking about it a little bit before. This is your first con, and, and I, you know, even though you're here to promote, you know, Necroelectric, a lot of people don't know this about Mr. Carpenter, but he's a huge fanboy, especially when it comes to DC characters, <laughs> particularly the Man of Steel. Oh. When we were in college, he had <laughs> Superman, everything. <laughs> So my, my door was painted with an <laughs> S shield that my sister drew. There it you go. Crazy. There you go. So with all that being said, um, you know, you, you know, you're here to promote Necroelectric. Do you are you going to have an opportunity to you know enjoy you know some of what the show has to offer? Oh, definitely. I'm not sure during the days, but uh, we came here a little bit early on Tuesday during setup, so we got to kind of see a little bit, and then right before doors open tonight on preview, mm -hmm. that I just kind of got to keep my eyes wide open. I don't think I blinked once. Okay. And uh, yeah, I really got to see everything. There's just, there's so much to look at. So yeah. much to see that you won't find anywhere else. Cool, cool. And, and adding to that, you know, what are your, you know, what, what's something, if you had an opportunity to possibly go to any of these panels or any of the events that are going to be available during the week, what would, what would be something that you want to see this week? Batman, Superman. Hands cool. down. <laughs> That's the one. So, All right. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to Hall H, uh, but yeah, that one is just going to be, I'm sure it's just going to be packed. I mean, just with the preview from last year, when you saw the bat signal and the soup. I was there. I'm, I'm almost getting goosebumps now, you know? I was there. I was there. <laughs> ah, see? 
So, uh, well, Eric, um, when, when I know know we're gonna have the uh, the series um, this summer, do we have an exact date on when when folks can yeah, check we out Necro Electric? Don't have an exact date just yet because okay. because we're still in negotiations. Gotcha, so, gotcha. So if it gets picked up, then yeah, then everything's gonna get moved around a little bit. Okay. So we're just saying kind of end of summer right now, just to kind of be on the safe side, not to give an exact date. All right, awesome. Well, there you have it, Real Filmers. I'm here with Eric Carpenter. Good to be uh, reunited with, with one of my you, friends. Yeah. Till next time. Thanks a lot, guys.